Okay, we're looking at end of the module for module one. It's like the final exam for module one. And here's question number one. It says, compare the value of each seven in the number 771,541. Or 548, sorry about that. So here we have, I just want to look at this part where it says, a value of each seven in the number here that I just spoke of. So I want to find the value of each seven. I have a seven here and a seven there. So the best way to do that is use your place value. Value You would say this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So I'll pull that out and I say seven, ten, thousand. And so what I would do is say seven ten thousands. The best way to do that is say seven times this number here. So we'll say seven times ten thousand. The best way to approach this is to look at the seven and the one. So I can say seven times one is seven. I count my total zeros. I have one, two, three, four, and I just plug that in with my seven. One, two, three, four. Four, and I just move my decimal over to find out where I would put my comma and there we go so that would be 70,000 alright my next value is the 7 next to the 10,000 so we count over this will be 100,000 so I would just simply say 700,000 oops let me erase that with my finger, 700,000. Same way I did uh, the 7 ten thousands, I would just simply say 7 times 100,000. So I say 7 times 100,000. And I'll just multiply 7 times 1, and that would be 7. And I will count my zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, four, five. Count over to find my comma, three, and that would be 700,000. So I'll put that here, 700,000. So now what I can do from here is compare. It says compare the value of each seven. So what I would do is take what I, the values of each seven, and I will just plug that here. I say 70,000 and I'll put a circle here to compare them and 700,000 so I'll just ask the question or else I'll say it this way 70,000 is less than 700,000 that is one quick way of comparing those two sevens